Today I'm going to show you how to apply glass materials to your Unreal Engine objects if you've imported them through DAS to Unreal. Here's a little example of something that I've made. These are the two same spacesuits basically. Jacqueline is wearing them, but this one is how it comes in by default. And on the right hand side, I've made it so that it's essentially glassified. And it's a very cool effect. And um, there's, there's all kinds of adjustments that you can make. If I go and open that material instance up here quickly and then move it onto the screen so we can see all the funky little settings. There's basically the two, well, three settings here. One is the opacity settings. So you can make this thing completely transparent or completely opaque, if you like. And then we have the Fresnel fall off and the refraction. So you can play with those and uh, make them stronger, make them less intense. And then you can have some cool effects that will make your object sort of look like glass or something weird and alien. And sometimes that effect just doesn't, doesn't come in by default. Let's have a look how we do that. I've sent over this little gadget here, which is sort of a bread warmer at a convenience store made by Fugazi. Thank you so much for doing that. And this has glass panes at the front and on the sides. And it's got some, you know, bread things on the inside. And I've sent that over to Unreal Engine and it came in like this. So I was lucky in that it actually worked. And there's some transparency in here. It doesn't look like amazing glass, but certainly it's transparent. And it's basically exactly what it looked like in DAS Studio. So when this happens, then and you're pretty lucky because that is the bridge having recognized the shaders correctly but that isn't always the case so you may also find that there's no transparency at all and this is completely opaque and at the top here under material slots we can see what the material zones are and thankfully with the newer versions of unreal engine we know the slot names here which is nice so we know it's going to be element zero here if i go and click the highlight button then i can see that is in fact the glass or i can click the isolate button to figure out what the material is that I want to change. So in my case, this is fine. But if I go and double click this material here, then I go to this material instance. And at the bottom of which I can see that this has got the under the parent, you've got the base alpha material. And that is correct, but it could have also applied just the regular base material. Let's see that was the case. I can go and click on this folder icon and then all my DAS to Unreal materials open up. And it could be that it just came in with this here, with the base material. Let me go and add that. And then there's really no transparency at all. So as a result, this is what my box would look like. And of course, that's not what you want. So if your objects have come in like this, then the easy fix is just replace it with the alpha material. And let's have a look at what the alpha material actually looks like. If you go, if you go and double click on this, you can see this is how it's constructed. And the base material has indeed no opacity channel applied here. Control Z has helped me out. And now it's back to the base alpha material with transparency. here. By the way, if you do double click this and look into this, know that if you do make any changes here, it will affect all the materials in the plugin to all your objects. So if you do want to make a change to this, I strongly recommend that you open this location up and then go and duplicate this out into your project so that you make changes there rather than in here because you might be affecting objects that you don't want to affect. So be very, very careful with that. By the way, for these things to show up here under settings, these two things need to be ticked. So you need to say show engine content and show plugin content. Otherwise, these two menus at the bottom won't come up. And as a result, you click on this and it's just not going to show in the content browser. Just thought I'd let you know that. So in order to put a really, really cool glass material here, we're not going to actually use anything from the DAS to Unreal Bridge. We're going to use something from the Starter Essentials. And I've got mine installed already. But if you don't, here we are, Starter Content. And under Materials, we're going to find a nice glass material here that we can use to mess around with. If you don't have the starter content in your project, it's no problem. You just head over to add and then you head over to add feature or content pack and then you switch over to content and then you select starter content and you just add that to your project and then you have all these good little starter goodies that you can mess around with and amend. And we're going to do that now with the glass shader. So once again, I'm not going to amend this. I'm going to go and left click and drag this out into my test rack here. That's the, the object. I'm going to copy that in here so I can go and make an adjustment to that here. 
on simple surfaces like my actual glass surface, I can probably just go and apply that. So left click and drag that over here into glass. And then you'll see that this is now, in fact, the glass shader applied and it looks a little bit better, but we don't necessarily have any adjustment opportunities here. Uh, it's also difficult to do this if your object has a texture, like let's say the glass, the transparent glass here had some kind of texture to it, like a, like a stained glass window or something. So if I wanted to have whatever's red now, sort of a plexiglass red, then I could, I'd have to have the texture that is referenced by this material and that'll also have to be in the glass material. So, so how do we do that? Let's, let's have a look at that. First of all, since this is my glass material, I'm going to go and make a copy of that and I'm going to call it MM textured glass, perhaps. And then I'm going to go MM for master material. I'm going to go and open it up. Let's have a look what that looks like. So it's it's a little crazy setup here, but it's a, it's a good material. It comes with parameters that we can adjust in an instance as well. Right now it has on the base color, it's just got a plain color that we could change into something better, but it'll be even cooler if we could do this on the fly. So for that, it's advice to make an instance of that and you do that by right clicking and creating a material instance so we're going to say mi textured glass and then we go and save everything and if i go and open the instance up then we'll see that this is the familiar menu that we get from all the materials you get on the das to unreal material slots here so now i can go and override these things like the glass color let me go and tear that off here and in fact, put my textured glass instance, it's a little messy here, isn't it? My textured glass instance onto my glass material here, just to show you that currently we don't see a difference, but now I can go and change the glass color. So if I go and move that around, give it a tint, then we can see that this is in fact what's happening here. But uh, that's just a color. So if I wanted a texture, I need to make another change to that. Let me go and cancel out of that. Untick this and go back to my master material here, in fact, because I can't make that change on the instance. I have to go and replace this color value with a texture. So I'll go take that away and find the texture of, let's say, the bread warmer here. Let me go and grab that and drag that in here. And then I'll go and put that into here. And that's not going to be fantastic right now for the for the actual glass, but it's going to look really swishy if we go and apply this to the rest of the rack. So right now this is going to look a little pink here. We don't really want that. So let's go and put the, the regular glass shader back into slot one. So that's our glass surface fixed. And now our textured glass surface, let's go and put that into this slot here, which is essentially just the red stuff. So let's imagine I want for that to be something like a plexiglass looking effect here. So I'll go and put my material instance, not the material, but the material instance into this, select it and then enable it. And then you see that this is sort of transparent now. Not exactly the look we want to go for, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Let's go bring up our instance again and go fiddle. So first of all, my opacity, if I enable that, I can go and make this more opaque. I can also add something that makes this whole thing darker if I wanted to do that with a multiply node. I'll show you how to do that. And then, of course, roughness and specular, you know what these things do. If you want to override them, you can go and uh, make it more shiny and, you know, the, the specular that adds a bit of punch to it sometimes. And there we go, a little, little bit of darkish sort of punch, but let's not do that. Let's go Fresnel and have a look at the Fresnel value because that looks sort of very exciting so it's like this magic glass box now and you can see how it distorts the stuff on the inside there refraction same thing it'll do something else and it's all just how the light goes and reacts with you know with with that sort of stuff so if you wanted to override the color value on this because you might want to have that a little bit darker here and also maybe a little bit less opaque that is also something we can do on the master material and by just by adding a multiply node to it. So hold down M on the keyboard, left click in this, that's my multiply node, hook that up to this, and we hook up the output to the base color input. And then we just go and hold down three to make a color value here, essentially. Convert that to a parameter. I'm gonna call that color override. And I suppose by default, we might want something like white. 
and then we'll go and add that into the multiply. So that should give us a little bit of a contrast punch. I'll save the material, go back to my model, and then you have the global vector parameter values. That's where my color override value is. So if I make that darker, or give it some other color, like you know something something more red or different red or whatever, then I have some some seriously cool effect going here that looks a bit like glass. So combine that together with a good looking texture, not so much one that is already pretty flat like this one, and you can have a really cool effect like my spacesuit. It's exactly the same setup that I've got there. I was hoping for a little bit more visual impact, but hey, one of those things. So once again, Fresnel and Refraction will give you funky little things, especially if it's a if it's a box that, that looks much cooler on the inside. So to prove a point then, I've done exactly that on Jacqueline's spacesuit here. I've worked out which material we have here, which is the Stellar spacesuit. And if I go and open that up, then tear that off so we can look inside it that is the material instance and down here i've got m glass and this is exactly what i've done here i've added the texture which had a lot more detail on it than my little bread box here and then i can go and make these exciting adjustments here transparency full or much you know totally transparent and still retain that glass look so in this case there's actually something inside it so that's that sort of that looks very cool and then the other things here you can you know there's there's also other glass shaders so this is just the one from the starter essentials but you can of course pick any glass shader and, and treat it exactly the same so that is the way to handle it you first of all you're going to have a look at the actual material figure out what that is by isolating these things then you go and double click the actual material then then if it's a DAS to Unreal material, it will get you to the instance. So let's say the bread here as an example. That'll get you to the instance. This is the material instance on which you have overwritten textures and all that. At the bottom of which, in the parent section, you have the parent material. On most objects, you have to go and double click this again to get to another material instance, which will then get you to the actual material. So if I double click that, then I see the material node graph. This is really not what we want to edit, but this is the base material that we're using here. And that is what we want to change out. So with that little folder icon, you see where they are and then you pick something else. So if it's coming in with something opaque, then you go and use the base alpha material instead. And then just go, once it's selected, you can go back into here, click that little arrow icon and that gets it applied here. Or you go and make your own base material and then you put that into the slot, overriding textures, overriding materials and, and so forth. There we go. That was it. I hope you've learned something new today and I hope you can make super glassified, exciting objects. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.